Hello, welcome to Linda Lake's Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so, um, I'm just chilling in my bed right now. I'm in my robe. I'm relaxing, but I wanted to see what was going on in the energy. Whoever I'm speaking to, you need to know how protected you are. You are truly protected right now. There's nothing for you to worry about at this time. Seriously, like you are being covered. Just like this umbrella here is covering these two chairs. I also feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you could be on a twin flame journey. You could have a twin flame, a twin flame mission here on this earth. And your person is also being protected at this time. You and your person, whether you're with them right now or if you're not yet with them. You're also somebody here who's highly respected in the spirit realm, okay? Yeah, someone here is really yearning for you. Someone here could be, um, the number 19 is everywhere. Someone here could be born on the 19th. So, um, someone's last name could be Parsons. Uh, someone here could be 61 years old, 33. Yeah, someone's passion for you has never died, okay? Someone's heart is burning for you. They can't let it go. This person is being um, guided by Ascended Masters at this time. Okay, they could be going through a shedding period. <clears throat> or you are. Any more spirit was going on? What else do they need to hear? Torched off. Ooh, somebody pissed off. You got somebody out here pissed off, Collective. Alright. Someone here could be born in 1991. This could be your... Uh, birth year or someone else's so, so you're being warned of danger ahead you got people out here pissed okay and they pissed off because they're experiencing a lot of losses child they shouldn't have fucked with you um fuck yeah you got these people in a panic all right a lot of people who are trying to go up against this twin flame union of y'all's or trying to do love spells um on your love life like trying to block love okay trying to restrict you from um being with anyone or trying to only have you attract karmics or whatever um that curse is being lifted that curse has broken and there's somebody here that's pissed off because they know there's nothing they can do about it anymore all right I'm also getting, you see how like this is like those tiki torches, right? The tiki torch where you have to like light it, right? This one's not lit. So I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, like there's someone here who can no longer like light their fire. Like there's somebody here who no longer has your energy. Therefore, there's things that they can't do anymore, right? You need to be careful though, okay? Don't be scared, but be, be careful, right because you got somebody really upset um you could be a fire sign you guys could be dealing with a fire sign a leo you guys could be dealing with an aries or a sagittarius Ooh, the trumpet judgment someone here is definitely under judgment the trumpet has been sound someone here could be born in 1992 you got a lot of good luck coming towards you. You guys could be seeing a lot of elephants or black cats. Continue to speak your truth, okay? There's some sort of change in the wind or some sort of change in direction that you might have to go with, okay? But there's someone here you're being you're being asked to be cautious about what you who's around you or who you surround yourself with or what you do, blase blase. But also, like, still stay curious, right? Um, like, don't allow whoever this weirdo is that's pissed off, who's teed off to stop you from living your life. Okay, tell me more. 
Gosh dang. Yeah. You're being asked to hold on to your hope. We got Dove here. So, there's a lot of good things coming. We got prosperity here. You're also being asked to remain calm as well. Have faith in yourself and have faith that your love life is going to be restored as well. Okay? You're going to be attracting um, new friendships or positive friendships, healthy friendships. Peace is going to be restored into your life, basically. That's what I'm getting. Peace and calmness is being restored into your life. Okay? You guys can be seeing a lot of doves. I know I have. We have photographs. So there could be somebody here looking at your photograph. This person, they know, they feel like they want to communicate with you. Somebody ha is reminiscing on your ass. I don't know who this is. This is Okay, so this is under the, the torched off card. So it's like giving me... There could be someone who's pissed off at you, but they still love you. And they look at your photos. This is such a weird energy. <laughs> this could be someone who loves you. Like this could have been like a family member or someone who was a romantic partner. Or something like that. I'm also getting this person misses how you used to inspire them. Or motivate them. Or make them feel empowered. That's another thing that this person is missing. So maybe that's why, maybe that's why that person's pissed off because they can't, their fire can't get lit anymore. Like you were helping this person like take action or make certain moves. And now that your energy is gone, they can't do so. We got piano. Yeah, you're being asked to enjoy the small things in life at this time. There's a lot of positive energy that is gonna be coming around you. You got a lot of joy and success that's coming on, or that's coming up for you, okay? I don't know why I'm getting like Elton John when I see this. Tiny dancer. I don't know. Maybe some of you are dancers. Or you're musically inclined because there's two instruments out here. Musical instruments. We got the trumpet and then we have the piano. Okay, so one of you could pay, play the trumpet or something. Maybe you're into ska music. I'm not sure, Joe. So one more. We have crown. Yeah, you're getting crowned. Whoever I'm speaking to, whatever transformation you're going through, okay? It's all happening because the divine is crowning you at this time, okay? Look at how pretty you look, child. With that crown. <laughs> okay? You're, you're being crowned with a new relationship as well. Or new relationships, friend, friend, friendships, business partnerships, um, romantic relationships. Okay. Yeah, there's something here about acknowledging your own success. All right. You got material wealth coming, coming towards you for sure. Something about your status is gonna be leveling up. Okay, your credit your credit score could be going up. Your status in general is changing. So for instance, if you're already dating someone currently, that status may change to like, you know, it might move up to a more like a higher level of commitment, right? Or if this is like a job status, like you're you're no longer the employee, you're the manager or something. You're getting promoted in some way. I don't, I don't know what area in life, child. It's something. Maybe all areas in life. You've been crowned, baby. Someone here should be 26 years old. Don't have to be. All right. Yeah, you got the power, baby. We got briefcase here. You got the freaking power, child. There's nothing no one can do about that. You the one with the briefcase. It ends here. Okay? That's what I'm getting. It ends here. Oh. Yeah, because you're somebody here who's very responsible, okay? You're ambitious. You take care of what's important, all right? Some of you might, if you guys might be sitting on some sort of business idea, you need to go after it, okay? Once you, once you actually start getting it going, you're going to feel, you're going to feel less stressed, 
okay is what i feel like is going on because some of you the the idea of starting it is what's really holding you back okay once you start going you'll start flowing you know what i mean <laughs> we got <laughs> we got the bell here interesting it's the end of hardships baby ding 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 the end of hardships for y'all look at how beautiful this is I don't know if you can see it. It's probably not focusing. Well, hot day. Some of you are about to head towards having a good marriage, um, celebrating something, some sort of achievement here. Overall happiness is coming into your life. You're going to have some sort of victory over something. Okay, it's going to bring you a lot of joy, whatever this is, baby. I'm also getting you going to find someone who's going to ring your bell ring your bell let me see coffin someone's gonna, someone's got to someone someone someone's gonna pass away somebody's going to pass away someone's gonna pass away and i feel like whoever this person is is somebody who was really trying to stop you from having love in your life or trying to affect your love life or trying to affect your twin flame journey situation Okay. Also, there's this is representative of the end of a karmic cycle. The end of you dating Mr. or Mrs. Wrong. Okay? That cycle is over. There's going to be an end of some sort of burdens here. Or there's going to be some sort of lift that's going to... Or some sort of weight that is going to be lifted off of you. Okay? To make room for bliss. All right. I'm also getting like, for some of you, this is representative of you guys letting go of somebody or something that was toxic out of your life. And that's what's ushering in this, um, this peace, this harmony here. All right. I'm also getting like something is going to be coming in unexpectedly. I don't, that energy keeps coming up. The unexpected energy. It keeps showing up. Something's been definitely going to be happening unexpectedly. You guys keep seeing 555 a lot. Yeah, you and another person have a very strong union or a very strong bond with each other. Okay? You may know this person already. You may not. Ooh, somebody is, is trying to send you heavy negativity. They really don't want two motherfuckers to be together, child. Um, they're, they're taking enormous efforts to try to stop this. These are treacherous people that want to keep you chained to darkness. They don't want you to be free. These dark people don't want you to be free they, cause, because they already know they can't be freed. That's what I feel like is going on, Joe. These demons walking around as people already know. <laughs> they already know they can't be free. So they're definitely not going to want you to be out here. What's that song? What does that song mean? Tiny Dancer by Elton John. What does that mean? There's a lot of musical instruments in here. We got harp. Okay. And there's a dove on this one too someone here could be 43 years old yeah you're somebody here who is very authentic you're somebody here who knows yourself all right right now could be a good time for you to disconnect from conflict and maintain your peace all right you got a lot of you, it just keeps talking about something new coming in there's new 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 everything coming in because something's ending thank gosh finally Yeah, I could be talking to a divine feminine. You, you got a lot of celebrations coming up, okay? You got a lot of um, prosperity coming your way. A lot of uh, future fu fruitfulness, right? Something about God's promise is coming through. Okay. I don't know if you can see this, child, because it's gosh dang. Maybe this is a green light for you to get one of these bowls to help cleanse your space. Man, we got lanterns. I don't know about y'all, but I've been seeing a lot of lanterns everywhere. 
And I'm like, what the hell is this about? I, it just reminds me of the Hermit card, really. There's going to be light that's going to be shed on all the snakes that were in your grass. Okay. And other people are going to see those snakes in your grass as well. There's something here about like public embarrassment. There's something about shame. Yeah, you're somebody here who's following the path least traveled. And that's why you're going to be getting some sort of unexpected blessing here. Or that's why joy is going to be entering your life. Or that's why you completed some sort of karmic cycle. Because you took the, the path least traveled. Other people in your family did not take the path least traveled. A lot of people don't take the path least traveled. It is offered to them, but they do not take it. Okay. <sighs> I'm also getting like somebody here is going to come in with some sort of good advice to help you. So you're going to have helpers coming through as well to help light the way for you. So you're going to be, this is good. It's going to help you overcome any challenges or any worries up ahead if they do come up. Ooh, somebody's relationship with somebody is going to go sour. Sour. Whoever was trying to destroy your relationship, if they were in a relationship or if they decide to get into one, that shit is going to go sour. Ciao. I'm also getting like whoever was trying to go after you, if they had their own business as well as you, say this was like a business rival, right? Their business is going to fail because they were trying hard for your business to fail. Okay. Or if, same thing. If it was a relationship or a marriage they were in, their relationship with their marriage is going to fail. Somebody trusted the wrong person. I'm also getting like somebody here got scammed. Something here about Russia is of significance. Someone here could be Russian. Maybe someone got scammed. Um something here or there or be careful someone might want to come in and scam you right maybe someone's business is going under and they're going to come towards you with some sort of business idea but they're they're not going to give you um a fair deal or something they might ask you to invest in something and then just not and then dip out on you or something so just be mindful of that so you got people watching your pockets, basically. So just be mindful of that, all right? Musical instruments came out, dude. So I don't know what this is about. It says it's time to show your true potential. It says charismatic, relatability, harmony, harmon <laughs> harmony. It says you're on the right path, self-aware. So you're somebody here who's very self-aware. Someone's name could be Harmony. Don't have to be. But you need to know you're on the right path, okay? Continue to um, listen to your inner guidance because it's not going to steer you wrong. Listen listen to the music of your inner voice, child. Some of you might end up... Um, some of you might re start realizing that you're a clear audience. That's for some of you, not all y'all. So for some of you, um, Divine Feminines, Divine Masculines, your guys' is, uh if you guys already obtain already have some form of spiritual gifts, you might your spiritual gifts might um your spiritual gifts may expand, okay? And then we have urn. Somebody dying, bro. Like some somebody passing away. Somebody here could be from Canada. Oh no, I already know who this is. Somebody here could be from Canada. Or somebody who lives uh, somewhere where there's a lot of maple um, maple trees. Or this person really likes maple syrup. Someone here could be born in 1994. Someone here could be 59 or 79. 
somebody's passing away is going to bring about a new cycle for you or something. Or it's going to free you of something here. Some sort of curse or hex. Or because of somebody trying to curse your life and end things in it, like doing a lot of death spells, it's going to, that's causing that energy. It's caused you to now have a long life ahead of you. Like it extended your life. I don't know. That's what it looked like to me. Jesus. And we got skull at the bottom of the deck. Right now you're being asked to make the most out of your life. This re this rebirth is really fucking uh intense is, is what it feels like. Powerful. There's something here about overcoming some sort of fear. You're being asked to overcome some sort of fear here. And to be courageous because life is not promised tomorrow. Something like that is going on. Yeah, you're going to be receiving a lot of divine um, messages here soon. Someone here could be born in 1989. Um, you're going to be receiving a lot of divine messages here. Your table is being prepared, Joe. I'm also getting somebody wants to come wants to come uh, negotiate with you or compromise or something here. Just be mindful, Joe. We got red rose. Someone's name could be Rose. Yeah, you got career opportunities up ahead for you. We got deep love as well. Commitment, romance, and passion. That's what's coming for you. You guys could be seeing a lot of roses. I know I have. All right. Someone here could smoke a lot of cigars or like tobacco out of a pipe or something here. This could be you or someone else, but... Somebody here about to uh, obtain wealth. You're going to be older and wealthy. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Yeah, yeah. Your wealth is being protected. And so is this this marriage. Listen. This is beautiful. Don't worry. Everything's going to turn out the way it's supposed to turn out. Keep your mind positive, all right, guys? Till next time, I love you. Okay, bye.